Hi Gemini, this is Char from Charlie's Angel Tarot and I hope you're all well. Happy birthday! I think most of you will be well because your birthday is here. This is your reading for the 1st to the 7th of June and we're nearly halfway through the year my darlings i hope you enjoyed your um seven month forecast the update on the yearly and i hope you have enjoyed the weekly and the romance definitely the romance because you are one of the biggest hits and i will be uh doing um the the one that has got the highest hits next week I'll start with the one that had the highest hits. So if you want to be number one, then please keep on hitting those thumbs up and sharing and liking with family and friends. Okay, and I hope you've enjoyed the re reviews and also um, the video on the competition. Um, the competition is to make a vision board and to um, uh, experience uh, uh, manifesting, affirming and visualizing and at the end of August the 30th uh, the competition will close and and then I hope to go live with you perhaps I might go live this summer um, and interact with you and discuss it so if you do find issues then uh, perhaps you like to talk about it and then I might be able to help you with that so come out and enjoy and join in the competition you can win one of these decks the uh, Shadowlands and the, it's an awesome deck they feel so good they shuffle well and they're full of humor and they're vibrant okay now I'm going to do a little bit of a psychic reading before I start reading the cards and see whether the cards can confirm what I've seen is correct course it, this is a general reading so remember um, if it doesn't resonate with you have a look at your rising sign or your moon sign you can find more informa information below the, the video in the description box or you can click on the little white circle just there and it will take you to the website and you can also see the video there on the website on the, about the competition instead of uh, spurring the playlists and also I do go live uh, on Monday Wednesday and Friday for those that have come in new and I give away free cards but I also answer cards or questions uh, so long they have been support supported by a donation button okay so welcome to the channel cyber new people and my cyber angels I love you all very much and I can't say it enough happy 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 birthday I hope it's going to be the best one yet okay my darlings now what do I see for you I see obviously celebrations <laughs> um, but that's too easy anybody could say that <laughs> um, and I also I also see coming together I don't know why but I see um, seeing people that you haven't seen for a long long time perhaps somebody from the past or people from the past I also see that most of you will go on holiday you will go on holiday even if it's difficult you'll find a way to get get on holiday not the holiday that you're used to it might not be a hotel it might be a camping or it might be a chalet it will be different than usual you'll be very creative about it you could also be using somebody else's camper or a truck uh, to go on holiday uh, it is more like give and take and share um, you might have the re you might hold a reunion with I see a campfire a campfire that might be in the mountains near a lake so yeah uh, there's going to be beautiful times for you ahead 
if you are not going to take a summer holiday because you want to catch up financially or for an, any other reason then you'll be going in the fall I also seeing money passing hands okay um, I see money passing hands buying a house uh, some of you are upscaling and some of you are downscaling uh, because you'll be traveling more times throughout the year okay the first card is the moon there are things that you don't know but you're on the right path this could also be a Pisces a Pisces is significant for you okay I'm just making not making it so bright sorry darlings right now things you don't know things are coming to an end as well that's what I'm seeing page of swords that's an Aquarius Aquarius news cyber news this could come through telephone email text message the four of pentacles like I said if you can't afford it you'll be creative enough you'll be downscaling perhaps your holiday as well um, so that you can save some for a rainy day if you haven't got enough money you'll go on to on holiday uh, in the fall look at that and then you can go to that warm place the Sun yes you're in the spotlight gems and we have the two of cups at the bottom of the deck so you will meet your soulmate or you are with your soulmate now you might even be going on holiday with your soulmate or meeting your soulmate on holiday let's have a look what the mirror truth Lena Mun is going to say for you mountains making mountains out of molehills don't make problems when or don't see problems or make problems where there are none okay have faith have faith choices choices decisions there's a lot more information coming out and you've got the tower ambitious like you could be ambitious and that's why you're working through the summer Ooh, you might be doing overtime let's have a look and you've got the rider and at the bottom of the deck we have the ring some of you might be getting married ah oh, I'm, I'm when I say getting married it will be an, a wedding that you didn't think that you would have perhaps you were planning a big wedding on in Hawaii on a beach or in uh, New Zealand or anything like that but you're downscaling a lot of you are downscaling because financially you want to be safe you want to hold on to some money for a rainy day uh, because somebody you've heard or seen people losing their jobs and things aren't stable yet so you're not you want to get married you want to be with your soulmate so yes um, let's get further into the reading okay now downscaling traveling what, what else did I say uh, partnering up I think anyway uh, I'll have to look back myself on the video what I said because once I've said it it's gone okay sometimes I can remember certain things okay the first card you have is the moon so Pisces Pisces is uh, represents the moon but there are things that you don't know you are in the spotlight okay so somebody might have an eye on you this could be a Pisces if you're not hooked up then this could be a Pisces or somebody else okay it could also be a Leo it could also be a Leo or an other air sign an Aquarius Gemini or Libra the page of swords is um, Aquarius Aqua uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. so yes but don't exclude the others the same with the fire signs it is Leo the Sun 
Sagittarius and Aries but there you go those are the three people so that quick uh, the Sun is the Queen of Fire is also Leo but could be any of the four signs okay don't exclude them the page is Aquarian but don't exclude Gemini Libra and this is Pisces so it can be Cancer or Scorpio your intuition might be heightened at this moment in time Gemini sorry about that that was a motor that passed my house okay um, you might be more psychic you might be more intuitive you might have more deja vu's um, at this time especially around the uh, full moon of Gemini because we've just come into Gemini the 22nd of May perhaps you were feeling it okay the mood swings okay let's have a look this is a beautiful deck. you are trying the yellow brick road this, this reminds me of the yellow brick road you're going for your goal your ideas to put your ideas into practice and you've got the pillars here represented by the trees there is a new doorway you are in the spotlight like I said somebody might have an eye on you but something is being illuminated you need more information or you might have to do some more research before you can put your ideas into practice okay number 18 becomes a 9 an ending now you have the mountain so don't you see problems where there aren't any problems you don't have to climb the mountain you can uh, walk the path every mountain has a path there's more roads to Rome than just one okay boom, boom, boom. Uh, you've got the eight of wands here so there you are travel travel something is happening very fast all of a sudden everything will go boom 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 very quick it won't rain it will pour and you've got number 21 which becomes a three you are creative enough to make things come out your dreams okay um, so don't look at the dark side number eight you are in your power Gemini you are in your powerhouse and your money house so you might get news about money okay again you page of swords means news also cyber because it's the page of air something will become clear to you could come from a young person it could be also an Aquarian, a Gemini, or a Librarian, Libra. And then you have the cross. And you might be too much up in your head. You might be depressed. Now, come on, get out of your head. Take action. Don't just sit there, make a decision. It's like the crossroads. Make a choice or a decision. You might even have more than one choice. You've got 36, again a 9. Something is coming to an end. Have faith, you won't be stuck in this um, situation for long. You've got the 6 of Wands, the 6 of Clover. So 6 of Wands is victory. You are the victor, okay? You're going onwards forwards and upwards holiday moving home wow so great stuff you might even get that car that you have had your eye on just make the right decisions you've got the church window behind you the angels have your back again a nine 
a 9. So you have got double numbers in your reading. And you've got a 9 here and a 9 here and 9 adds up to 9. Okay. Now let's have a look. Um, so that make that choice and that decision come into action. Don't stagnate Gemini. Okay. You've got the tower. You are ambitious. So you'll have to come into action. And this could be at the end of the week. But it could also be through the week. Okay. 19. 1 and 9 is 10. New beginnings. And the tower in the Lenamon means ambition. You might be moving into an apartment. First time house owner. Boom. Nice one. But don't forget the people that support you and love you, okay? Sorry, it's not, it's not the uh, Six of Wands. That was the Six of Wands, yes. This is the Six of Swords. Moving home, going on holiday. Moving away from uh, rough waters. Going to smoother waters. Might be crossing water. You might be immigrating and having your own apartment in another country. This looks a bit Parisian. The old style Parisian. I love it. But the tower uh, in Lenormand means ambition. But don't forget the people that love and support you whilst you're climbing to the top. Because when you reach the top it will be lonely. And that's no fun. So make time free for family and friends. Okay. Now, look at this. You've got the Four of Pentacles. That means that you've closed your mind, you've closed your heart, and your own energy, solar plex. Or you are holding on to someone or something too tightly. Don't do that. It damages the relationship if you're hooked up. Okay. Don't hold on to them. Don't hold on to your money. Let go. Save some for a rainy day. So that you can buy this apartment. You have victory. Definitely. You have victory. You're moving home. You're moving away from troubled waters. So there will be more money coming your way. Four is stability. So open your heart, open your solar plex and your mind. And your mind will bring in new ideas when you sit down, meditate and contemplate, visualize. Manifest. Take that action. Come into action. Okay? You can do it. Come out of your mind. Don't stay stuck in your thoughts. It's only going to give you sleepless nights. Now, you can't do without one and the other the dark and the light. So here is the light. The light is going to shine. You are in the spotlight. Okay? So people are noticing you. You will reach that top. Don't kill yourself doing it. Okay? Find your new beginning. You might go up a next level in your relationship or in your work. You might get more clients. Okay, success. You will go on holiday to a warm country. You might even immigrate, some of you. The might, you might find out you're pregnant. If you don't want to get pregnant, then take precautions. If you want to get pregnant now, it's a good time to get trying. But don't force it. Open up. How, let that playful Gemini come out. You are, after all, the house of the infant or child. You love experimenting, so let that inner child come out. Okay.
you might I get a feeling some of you might not get pregnant in June but you might get pregnant in August or September I don't know why but that is what I'm getting through okay you're in the spotlight and you need more research if you can't get pregnant then ask a second uh, opinion from a medical advisor like a GP or a gynecologist you will receive news or you might get a visitor or you might be going to visit well that's confirming this card so you are going on holiday perhaps you're going to visit somebody a friend Ooh, new beginning number one you will have victory though you will you might go and miss uh, visit your soulmate Ooh, you've got the two of cups your emotions are balanced they might be in another country and they can't get a visa because they can't leave the country and perhaps you are allowed to travel to the country who knows you've got the ring and that means partnerships romantic dinners look at the guys and the girl okay you've got number 25 so that's seven luck and you've got the ace of wands so it could be a new passionate affair or you might go in on holiday with a fire sign there you go Leo Leo who else who else let's have a look water air sign waters here as well but it could be it's the ace of fire ace of wands a new beginning if it is a passion and you want to make it long-lasting then know their boundaries and let them know what your boundaries are and don't get burnt out because air 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 and fire air sort of makes fire burn much quicker so don't get burnt out now let's have a look what the romance cards are saying for you okay an ace is also a new beginning Gemini ooh I love it it's beautiful new romance remember you have the choice you have the choice and I just shook the cards and you've got true love this is the romance of a lifetime Wow your knight in shining armor and now your angel feather card right that one flipped out and you've got crimson innate creative talents well what did I tell you three creativity Woo! love it the angels are here to reinforce to you that you have natural creative talents and skills which need to be unleashed or further developed and I think I said in uh, my psychic uh, in the beginning in the psychic reading um, ideas are not coming to fruition or you're having trouble um, you're having a difficult time well you've got a nine here a nine difficulty a nine here ideas because you're too much in your head depressed Ooh. so the cards are confirming what I've said nice one okay Gemini if you have liked this reading then please show me your appreciation with the thumbs up thank you very much in advance and always and remember I do go live Monday Wednesday and Friday and I give away free cards and uh, I ask answer questions 
that are supported by a super chat or a super sticker. And if you would like an extensive reading, uh, um, then um, uh, go to the website. Please go to the website. And um, I will be adding a different reading onto the reading list. I will be adding, I haven't had time to do it, somebody asked me for a crystal ball reading and I will um, explain what a crystal ball reading is and I will be adding it to the website. Okay, take care and I'll see you next week or in the life if not in the next video. Ciao, ciao. Happy birthday and be blessed.